And somebody put a budget into this. They, they made these sets, you know, the futuristic sets. There weren't too terribly many of them, but to think that anybody <laughs> invested in this film to do that <laughs> and do that for that story and to do that for a film in which the lead actor couldn't be bothered to grow his hair out, but instead wore a, a ridiculous wig the entire the entire movie it is kind of bizarre. It looked like the cartoon He-Man's hair on a real person. Yeah. <laughs> like no one raised their hand and said, yo, we got to do something about this wig. Like no one did. Like that's fucked up. That's fucked up to the people that were there. No one said anything. <laughs> Nobody said, Rib, your head looks like a dick. <laughs> like, bro, do we need to change that out? Like, <laughs> Oh, like they, they got really him in the props department. They sat him in the chair and they did nothing more than just they didn't even look to see if it was on forward or backwards or sideways. They just slapped it on his head and went to town. I mean, the hair is flying <laughs> all over the place. There was one scene, somebody pointed it out. He got up from a scene and the first thing he did was check to make sure his hair was stable. <laughs> and, <on. laughs> and they kept it. 